All right, well, I think this is working. Had a little problem with the stream key, but yep, we are online. So, what's new? <laughs> Welcome to day two. Um, I am just gonna talk about first physics and then I'll move on to honors physics, uh, roughly a half hour each, uh, and we'll see what happens. So, let's see. Uh, I'm just going to do a little test on the uh, on the chat. This is a test just to make sure that I could see it. Looks like we're good. Okay, so now, um, so for physics, we are currently in. Uh, well. Hopefully by now you've done this one and this one, number one and two. Uh, yesterday, we might have talked slightly about this, but there is this introductory video that you can reference uh, where I kind of explain just a couple examples. Uh, this is the uh, this is the practice you could work on, and what I would recommend doing is just you could open it up, and as you can see, it'll just pop up. Um, you might not be able to work on it here, but if you open it in open in desktop app, then you could save your own copy. You don't even have to open it. You could just file, I think, save your copy. Yeah, you could just save your own copy and then you could write on it uh, with your stylus from your computer uh, or even your finger if you lost your stylus. Or if you have access to a printer, you can print it out. So uh, this video right here is of me basically walking through it, not even basically, it is of me walking through it. So if you click on that, <clears throat> uh, then you get to hear my melodious voice explaining that's me. So uh, that's, yeah, I made that this morning for you. Okay, so this quiz, if you haven't taken it yet, it seems like many of you have, uh, you should be able to retake it until you get the grade you want, get an A. I'll be putting these things in the grade book very soon. Um, I know there's been some talk about sh are teachers allowed to grade things, are they not? Um, and basically we are, okay? So since we're e-learning, uh, we we're all ready to go with this. Uh, the, the governor kind of has clarified what he said about that. So I am gonna be putting this all in the grade book. This all should be helping your grade uh, as long as you do it and you work on it uh, like you need to work on it. So you should be fine, I would think. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, so don't be putting, don't put this off. If you know somebody you want to check in with, make sure they're doing good on this stuff. Like maybe somebody told you they're not going to do anything because they don't have to. Um, maybe just kind of uh, send that person a little note that, uh, you know, yeah, you should be doing this. So. Uh, then you get to this part, number three, insulators. And uh, you know what? Just for anybody who is just joining us, I'm going to go back to the uh, this chat uh, and make sure that we know that it was uh, not this is a test. If you come in late, you're like, this is a test. What does that mean? I was testing the chat. Hello. Hola. Again. So... Uh, there now anybody who comes in late will know that this is not actually like a test test a class test but anyway so here you have a uh, couple of you have your assignment and I just have a by period so you could just click on the period you got me um, go to Google classroom it'll be there for you uh, but basically you'll come to not that you'll come to this and let's zoom that in 200% uh, so instructions are pretty clear I hope uh, no problem, my friend. No problem at all. So, uh, no problem. You got. I mean, we're all kind of dealing with: are we on our personal one? Are we on our school one? You know, like, or what account are we on? Honestly, that's the reason I stream through uh, YouTube now. Uh, last year, I streamed through Twitch, uh, and with YouTube, it's just sort of since everybody has an account, I it just makes it easier. Like, first, everybody has one. You don't have to make a new account, and two. Uh, I'm able to tell who you are and actually talk to you. Like, I mean, right now, if you didn't say who you were, hey, you disappeared. That's interesting. I don't know if you could delete comments. Anyway, if you didn't tell me who you were, I wouldn't know. But now I know. Um, and then apparently you deleted your comments or something. Let me just see if it's uh, top chat. Yes, yeah, change that to live chat. Nope, 
it's gone anyway. All right, so anyway, this is the assignment. And you're gonna click on this link, and so you're gonna get this, and it says to build a, uh, build a thing, nope. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you're gonna build this thing and the way I did it honestly it was just uh, you drag out the different components like here's a light bulb here's a battery and then you can just connect them through wires and uh, it will be honors in about a uh, half hour 130 so yeah 130 will be honors so uh, I mean feel free to hang out but I'm just kind of talking about uh, the, the the regular assignment regular physics assignments <clears throat> clarifying so anyway if you uh, make the uh, the circuit here you can see that electrons are being pushed around and they're moving and uh, you get uh, the light bulb lighting up so uh, but the question or the, not the question the directions is to set up a uh, circuit like this and you should be putting different things in there not just completing the circuit so I'm gonna break this you see I just click on that and you could cut it open and I'm gonna add another wire and now I could add anything I want and what it says to do is for example add a paper clip or a pencil or a dog or a hand or a dog. and you could just save your own copy of this and you could you you just type in an X or you you know could save it you could use your stylus to write an X if you want to um, so I believe that'll work. You just have to do, I think drawing will work, uh, for, yeah, drawing. And, uh, mm, that's not exactly it. Tools. Uh oh, I forgot how to do it. Mm, well, let's see if somebody wants to, if somebody watching wants to let me know how you draw on Google docs, I feel like there was a way, but I don't remember how to do it off the top of my head. Maybe this is it. I think it looks like a drawing. Nope. So, uh, somebody lets me know maybe or not we could figure it out later but bottom line is I want to put a paper clip in there so I'm gonna go and I got all these choices I could just keep going there's a whole bunch and uh, I'm gonna take a paper clip and I'm going to connect it to the wires and as you could see you get a circuit a complete circuit so I'm going to or actually I already did as an example I just checked that box correct it does turn on okay and now maybe I'll try a pencil a pencils made of wood but let's see if I can just delete this. Yeah, delete that. Let's find that pencil. There we go. Oh, look, at it. it's two-sided. And it's not as bright. So that kind of tells you maybe this isn't a very good conductor. But it does turn the light bulb on. So I would have to actually check yes here. Okay, a dog. Well, I'll let you figure that out. You, you, uh, you could try putting the dog in the circuit and see what happens when you put a poor little dog on there. All right, meanwhile, I'll just set the doggy down there just to kind of watch. Um, so that is the essence of this assignment here. And then when you do that, uh, there's just a bunch of questions for you. What's, what do they have on common? Like, why does the light bulb light it up? Why does the pencil light it up? What's going on in there? Um, there's gonna be certain things like a dollar probably won't light it up. It won't let the, the light bulb light up. It won't complete the circuit. Okay, and then there's a little bit more. Uh, like which of these are conductors, which are insulators? So just remember, conductors conduct electricity, insulate, they, they allow electrons to flow, and insulators stop electrons from flowing. So got a list of all these different materials here. Which of these can be good conductors? Which of these are gonna be good insulators? That's essentially the assignment. So uh, if you got any further questions, let me know but even if you don't well if you do you can first check let me just zoom in here a little bit uh that's the wrong one that's why i'm not zoomed in there we go you can click on this video for help mr knott who is another physics teacher um oh, hello get rid of that i was like why does everything sound so funny i was uh trying something earlier mm, it might involve mining and or crafting but um let's see Anyway, Mr. Knott, another physics teacher, made this video here. And so he kind of walks you through pretty much the entire thing. I'm not gonna play that right now. All right. Um, once you're done with that, was there anything else? Yeah, we got that. Um, so that should do it. All right. Um, what else? 
that's about it. So um, I'm going to kind of preview, I guess, the uh, we got a test for real. Like, mm, how do I say this? It is still school and uh, we do got to like test ourselves to know what we know and what we don't know. So I'm going to have a test coming up um, and I'll link it down here very soon. What day is it? Wednesday, probably tomorrow or Friday. I'll give you more information about it then, but you're definitely going to want to work on the, this stuff before you take it. And you're going to want to work on this review guide. All right. Uh, the review guide is, well, it's a review guide. And just to kind of give you a little preview of it, it's everything. So it's here. You know what? I'm going to do what I told you to do. Probably is a good idea. Open it in the desktop app. You could then save your copy <clears throat> and use either your finger or your stylus uh, to write on it or print it out if you have access to a printer. Okay. So as you can see, you're going to have to go back. Remember what the electron, protons, and neutrons are? What's negative? What about like charges? Are going to, you know, which is going to attract, which is going to repel, neutral, drawing the electric field. All right. Coulomb's law. Oh yeah. Remember this equation? We did just do this recently, which is, uh, should be okay. Putting E into the calculator, that kind of stuff. Um, it's gonna be a little tricky if you don't have a calculator at home, but there are online calculators. You know what? I will put a, I'll find one and I'll put a link to it when I put the test up. Okay, and then we get into new stuff like Ohm's law. So that is just a little preview of things to come. Uh, I'm going to close that. Now, if you do start it, <clears throat> again, Mr. Dot made a nice little video uh, about solving for the first half. Uh, he's working on the second half probably as we speak. He'll probably post it tomorrow, something like that. I don't really know. It's very nice of him to make those videos, though. He made it for his students, but, you know, sharing is caring. So that was nice of me slurping on my water. Okay. Let's see here. Anything else? So not physics related. Oh, one more thing about physics. So I'm going to put the recaps down here. So here's yesterday's live stream. It was about an hour, 10 minutes long. I'll put today's here as well. Uh, when we're all done here and then so on and so forth. So you can go back and look at anything you need to look at. All right. I haven't really, have not heard anything about after spring break. I think uh, just keep your ears open and we'll all find out together. But uh, right now, nothing major has changed. I just want to clarify again, um, homework or whatever the work we are allowed, to, we are, teachers are going to put it into hack. Okay. So make sure you do it. Uh, keep up with it. You don't want to wait. I won't be like super thrilled to be grading stuff over spring break. I will occasionally, but if you turn something in late, don't expect me to get to it right away. Um, over spring break, I mean, I will, of course, because I can't go anywhere. Um, so I'll be around, but I won't be probably um, doing too much in terms of uh, grading. But so, are there any questions? for me. I'll hang out here a second. I'm going to leave all SSC honors. Do we just put the items anywhere for the light bulb? Oh, that is a fantastic question. So the thing about, uh, the thing about this is no, you can't, because if you look at, you got to have, I mean, it's, it's called an electrical circuit. Do you put it anywhere? I mean, in one term, yes, but in other terms, no. You, you have to, um, I mean, I could just link that there and you'll have a circuit there. You could cut it here and you could, for example, put the eraser here. But one thing you'll notice is everything has two sides to it, two connection points, okay? I mean, think about a battery. It's got two sides to it, two terminals, a positive and a negative. The light bulb, in this case, I mean, all light bulbs have two parts to it too. We weren't able to do this, the certain lab that I wanted to do with you guys, at least yet but it's got two connection points. It's almost like, think about, everybody's holding hands. Everybody's got two hands. They're holding hands in a big circle. So every every wire has two sides to it. Everything's got two sides to it. And you had to hold hands for it all to work. Okay, basically like sending the electricity through. It's sort of like, remember in class when we did the, um, 
did the Van de Graaff machine and we did the chain and everybody got shocked who was in it. Well, most of the people got shocked when they were staying in the chain and if you had to hold hands for it to work. Um, and the reason, or at least touch each other for it to work. And the reason is you could see these little blue things. Let's see if I go, I can't zoom in. What the, you see these little blue things. Those are the electrons, just like with John Travoltage. You can see the electrons moving through here. And the, elect the, the, the electrons are being pushed by the battery. So as long as you're going through the, in the circle, now watch what happens if I put, like for example, the dollar bill. Well, let's not use that. Let's just use something that we know works. I'm gonna take another wire. If I just put it anywhere, it's not part of the circle. Like it's kind of touching the circle. Uh, the one side, I mean, if I grab it, it's obviously touching the circle, the loop, the circuit but you can see the electrons aren't moving. And why aren't they moving? Because it's they're not being forced to move in a circle. Only one side of the, uh, the wire is even touching it. So there's no push. There's no, well, there's actually there is a push. There's electrical pressure, but you need that pressure um, and you need a place for the electrons to go. So if I really wanted that wire to be included, it needs to like hold hands, both right and left hand, positive and negative side with the rest of the loop. So to answer your question, kind of, you could put the item anywhere in the loop. So I could put the, you know, the we know the paperclip works. I could put the paperclip right here and that's fine. Okay. Um, I could put the paperclip, if I delete this wire, I could put the paperclip right here. And that's fine. So as long as you put it anywhere in the loop, you're good. Anywhere in the circuit is the technical is the name for it. You're fine. Okay. But oh yeah, middle of the battery in the wire. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, but you had to connect it. So like if I just plop down the wire here, you can see like it's the little circles stay red. Uh, it's not really connected to it. It's just sort of like you laid it on top of the wire. You actually had to connect it. All right. If I if I just lay it there, poof, now it kind of connected on the one side, but it didn't connect on the other side. Okay. I don't know if that's I don't know if this is the question you're answering or asking, but you have to make sure that it's part of the loop, otherwise it won't work. And you're like, well, I could just drag a wire out here, but it's kind of sort of working ish. But I mean, you could get rid of it and nothing really changed. So what you really want to do is make sure that everybody's holding hands. Okay. Honestly, I would just go by looking at the diagram, just kind of like pop it in, just kind of make this exact one. And you can't go wrong with that. Okay. So that good? Let me know because I will, uh, like I said, I got nothing better to do. Just hang out here. Awesome. Cool. All right. Yeah. So it is, uh, that's, it's a pretty straightforward lab and, and, uh, but just again, pay attention to like what's going on. And I wish we could have like done this more in class. I could have explained it a little bit better, showed you like with more real life examples. But um, this is this is pretty good. Actually, this is about as good as we can get, except for you know we're not in person. And uh, so if you look again, like the the blue electrons are moving through the wire. That's electricity. Okay, so. Mm -mm. yeah that's that's essentially it so just kind of pay attention to what's going on with that and uh like i said here watch this with the light bulb it's very important like the light bulb uh you see what happened i didn't include the light bulb in the loop i didn't include the light bulb in the circuit so what's happening well there's nothing to slow down like the the the, the battery is pumping the electrons full speed ahead and there's nothing to slow it down there's no resistance there's no, there's, there's no, nothing in the way of the electrons. So you can see they're going full speed ahead. And whenever you get electrons moving at full speed ahead, you're going to have them running into, uh, running into each other, running into the different atoms, and you're going to get these, these electrons bound. It's, remember the first video you watched, Intro to Electricity, it kind of talked about friction and uh, electrical friction, or if, you know, just kind of what it is, and, and you generate heat because of the, uh, because of that. So this is what we call a short circuit because you kind of gave the electrons a shortcut to get back to the battery. So they're being pushed by the battery on the one end and they want to get back to the positive side. So they're, they're being pushed by the, you know what, let me stop this for a second. Poof, there we go. So they're getting pushed by the battery and on the negative side, they were getting pushed. And uh, since they weren't going through the light bulb, there was just no resistance. All right. Anything else? That's gross. 
Okay. Let's just try something here. No, oh, that's probably won't work that way. Boop, 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 boop. We don't need that. Yeah, no, I know. I regret that. I mean, this is just going to be a little confusing, unfortunately. So, um, by the way, anybody, if you watch this later, like it's not live, for example, please send me send me a remind question. In fact, I'm just going to make sure my phone is okay. Good. And uh, you could anybody could ask me questions later, or I'll do the live stream again tomorrow. All right. So, yeah, good. All right. You bet. I really don't like it that I wasn't able to introduce this to you guys, like you know, in person. So, uh, um, yeah, so that's about it. Um, anything else? Okay. You guys are awesome. Um, somebody just texted me a question, so I'm going to reply to them. Because uh, it wasn't about this class. But uh, since, yeah, I'll talk in a second. <clears throat> All right. Cool. Anything else? Let's just see here. All right, we got a few people watching, so that's good. It's good. Boom, 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 boom. All right, well, <laughs> um, so cool. Um, yeah, I'm just going to sit here and awkwardly check, uh, reply to this, um, this question real quick. Do, 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 do. It's about live the live stream anyway. All right. Cool. So I guess we can move on to honors. Um, I know there's a bunch of you guys here, so we could talk about that. But I'm going to kind of stall on that just a little bit because it's not really quite time yet. So, because uh, this basically goes from 1 until 1.30 for regular and then 1.30 until 2 or so for the honors. And uh, yeah, but, well, I will just clean up after myself here. Awesome. So you guys are great. You guys are great. So let's see here. So that's you guys. Uh, so just to kind of uh, recap where we're at. Hopefully you've done the first assignment. Remember, I didn't make these day by day, okay? I made them just generally day by day, but you do them at your leisure or at least at your own pace. You gotta set a pace though, okay? So just like anything, make sure you when you wake up, you have sort of a goal for the day, not just for, for school, cause that is important. I mean, it's gonna take a couple hours probably per day, but have goals for school, have goals for what you wanna do with your day. Um, I mean, we got up early. We, you know, we're not like sleeping in super late because if you do that, this is gonna just suck. And so like we got up early, we went, we went outside, went for a walk basically. That's the only thing that you can do anymore is just go outside and, and, and we're, you know, spread out a little bit. Um, but get out of your house if you can and do something, you know, Watching Netflix and all that is great. Uh, you're gonna run out of that's gonna get real tiring really quick. So find something else to do and set goals for yourself. You know, if you want to bang through all the physics in one day, be my guest. If you want to do a little at a time, that's probably a little bit better. Okay. Uh, if you sit down and you start with physics and you realize it's not gonna, you know, be a quick, you know, couple assignments and done, then feel free to take a break now and then. You know, do this tomorrow. Finish it tomorrow. Uh, but, but set goals set goals all right honors we're about five minutes early but that's okay <clears throat> who's here it is a little early so probably people jumping on yeah we only got a couple people watching right now um hmm well 
What do we got? Five minutes. It's four minutes. What can we talk about? What can I just talk about? <sighs> well, I'm gonna have to talk, I suppose. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna try something silly. No, you know what? I'm not gonna try it. Switching to something else in the middle of a stream probably isn't the best thing I should do. <clears throat> but um so just like before, if you're just kind of jumping on here, you're on the honors or uh, whatever, I'm going to timestamp this just like I did last time. Um, and so you'll be able to just kind of cut to uh, the this part or actually when we start talking about the honors assignments in a moment uh, without having to really worry about watching the half hour of, well, stuff that doesn't pertain to you. But I guess I'll just take a sip of water while I'm waiting. Mm -mm -mm. Switch that around in a disgusting way. We got a few more people watching. So kind of building up to official start of the honor section. <clears throat> All right. Well, I guess just to say that I did it. I'll switch to something real quick. Mm -mm, mm -mm. See if this works. This is going to get really weird for a second. So maybe I'll do this. Um, it's the best bet here. That. That. Boop, 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 boop. that and that all right we got about two minutes so i'm just gonna check my garden la la la, la. now i guess i did this and so i make cotton out of that and then get cotton seeds and i'm going to whoops replant that now I have extra cotton. It's too bad. All right. Let's see here. Hey, where'd my face go? Hmm. Okay. Well, you know what? It's going to be about time anyway. Let's just switch over. All right. Cool. All right. 1.30. It is officially time to start the honors section. So what do we got? Well, let's just make sure that we're still live and we're good. All right. Cool, cool. So honors. Mm, about 10 seconds well okay first thing is i definitely um want you to finish this summative lab report all right so if you haven't been on that i mean a lot of things have happened since i signed it so just kind of finish that up and submit it when you get a chance make sure you're in contact with your group if something's going wrong and you can't get a hold of your group or people just aren't replying or responding and nobody's doing anything let me know don't let that kind of thing like just fester and uh we could deal with it let me know sooner the better maybe give people some time to reply to things um but um if things are kind of falling apart with your group or your team let me know all right and if you need to just complete it on your own or or we'll, we can figure out something basically we'll figure out something but let me know if there's problems um with writing the lab report okay because it's supposed to be a team effort and if you find out you're the only person doing the work that's not fair to you and it's not fair in like a negative way for other people so please let me know and uh we'll, we'll deal with that okay so again though like it says here not again i didn't say anything yet but like it says here too, if you uh, can't get it done by Friday, just let me know as soon as possible. All right, uh, and I will uh, I will check in on that. And uh, oh, goodbye. Uh, I'm just making sure my 
Yeah, cool. All right. Kind of doing things a little on the fly here. Uh, once again, I'm not really, um, it's not gonna be as polished as my usual test review live streams just because, well, I mean, this whole week is kind of like just on the fly and off the cuff. And so we'll, we'll deal with that. So if you haven't been working on this, it's not, I mean, you do what you gotta do, but I was just telling about the class, have goals, set goals for yourself. When you're gonna do these things, you can sit down and try to bang through all these things in one day, but that's gonna be a long day. All right, be realistic with yourself. Uh, this, this, These assignments are meant to be class assignments and they're not gonna take like 55 minutes each. Um, but they're, they're, I mean, we're, it's e-learning. It's not like, oh, here's like some little video to watch and check mark, cool, we're done, you know? But most of you know that if you've been on this. So set timetables, set goals for yourself. If you finish early, great. If you are, if you are waiting to get it done, um, just, you know, maybe stop waiting. I don't know what you're doing. Hopefully the sit around and do nothing phase is going to be over quick for you. Um, if that's what you've been doing, it's going to get tiring really quick. Um, so do something, do something. Um, by the way, too, I mean, with all the time we're going to have, it is a great time to do something creative, to learn something, to try something new, to build something, to, I don't know, read something, read, get reading, start working out, um, do push-ups or sit-ups or, you know, just start developing some good habits Start trying something that you haven't tried before. Okay. Above all, stay inside, stay home. Don't go out this needs to be done with and it's not going to be forever it's it's a couple weeks and the more people stay in now the sooner we can all go back to normal all right and if everybody stays in now the less things will have to be shut down the fewer things will have to be shut down the less people are going to be affected economically in their jobs so stay in and tell everybody you know to stay in okay don't get together with people don't don't just stay in that's all i could say but all right that said here's the assignments so talked about assignment two and three kind of yesterday so uh what is this video help so i think did i make this i don't even know what i've made anymore oh no this is <laughs> that's a link to yesterday's live stream uh so I, I talked about this at the end of the live stream yesterday or near the end so uh if you have trouble with this FET simulation, the series one, uh, then you could check out the video there. Um, for the second one here, the second, the one that's in parallel, dealing with parallel circuits, um, that's not us anymore. So basically it's a similar type of lab, but now you could, you could see the difference. If you set this one up, uh, you could see the difference right away between this one and yesterday's. Now, this one, I kind of left it open, not open, but I didn't put the picture in there. So I left it just a diagram and I'm going to build it right now for you. But let's just take a look quick. You know, this is the this is the battery right here. This thing right here, with the V, that's the voltmeter with the leads coming out of it, positive and negative leads. So black and white or black and red uh, leads coming out of it. We have a wire coming out of the battery, and then we've got three resistors in parallel with each other. They're not in a row like they were yesterday. They're in parallel with each other. And then it just got, you get a wire coming back to the battery. So if I were to build that, not if I'm about to build that. So since I'm about to build that, I will actually kind of just take my all my resistors, zoomf, and I'm gonna just set them all up and I'm gonna connect them with the wires, all right? And this one is a little bit easier if you kind of like follow the diagram a little bit, like you kind of leave, well, you'll see. It, exaggerate things is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to add a little wire, little wire nub just to kind of extend it a little bit. Nope, go away scissors, I don't need you. And uh, this is not necessary. So if you didn't do this part, it's fine, but it just makes it a little bit cleaner and easier to deal with. So you won't be touching the, um, the, the, the multimeter leads to the wrong spot. Okay, so I got that. And now I'm just gonna connect them. 
just like in the diagram. Not close enough. Boop, boop, boop. All right. Oh, we've already got some circuit. We've already got a circuit and it's in parallel. Oh, all right. Now, let's double check, make sure I did it right. Positive end and negative end on the, on the bottom side. So there's the negative end of the battery. And check that out. All right, cool. So one thing I want to do, do we parallel the suit? Well, Rachel, you can, if you didn't, here, good question, Rachel. Mm, where to go? I'm going to get rid of that one. If you didn't do the series one yesterday, then do that one first. That's my answer. Okay. So go in order. If, if you haven't completed any of one, two, or three, make sure you do those first and then do the parallel one today. But I'm going to talk about the parallel one today because I talked about the series one yesterday right here. All right. So that's, that's my answer to your question, Rachel. Okay. Let me know if that doesn't make, if that doesn't answer your question. So I am doing the parallel one right now because, well, continuing on. Uh, just like yesterday, I want to change the resistors. Is this zoomed in? Let's zoom in a little bit more. Like I said, this stream is going to be, you bet, Rachel. Um, hey, Rachel, what kind of day is today? Just wondering, will you tell me? So just like yesterday, I want to change the resistances to 5, 10, and 15. So this one should be a 10. And I'm going to make this one 15. Awesome. Awesome. I knew today was going to be a good day. Thank you, Rachel. You're the best. <laughs> it is a good day, isn't it? All right. So I've got my setup. All right. I've got this one set up to five. This one set up to 10 ohms. And this one set up to 15 ohms of resistance, just like it says right here. Okay. In fact, because I'm not there to remind you of this, I'm going to put a little bit of a hot, not a little, I'm going to highlight that. Okay, that way we remember to do that because it's super easy to forget. I mean, right? So click here to see a suggested setup. Um, honestly, I don't even know that's gonna work. Well, hey, all right. There's my, I, I put that together. Like I don't, like I said, I don't even know what I've done anymore. What I thought about doing, what it's on my to-do list to do. So I'm glad, I, I thank you past Mr. Jern for setting that up for me. Okay, so there is, um, Talking about the the extra wire in the side of the resistor. Okay, so I just rebuilt that here. Not as here, there. There we go. Looking a little bit better. A little bit more like the picture in the diagram. Okay. So now, oh, I gotta get the voltmeter out. It doesn't have to be right where I said. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna put it over here. Um, it says I'm going to touch the negative or black ter um, terminal of the voltmeter to point H and then touch the positive terminal to the other points labeled in turn. So I'm going to touch it to H just like it is here. Leave it there. And I'm going to take the red end, the red lead. I'm going to touch it to A and then B and then C and then D, E, F, G, and I believe H. Okay. Uh, and then record them in the table below. So I'm going to touch this one to H. And I'm gonna to touch this one to, if I can, point A. There's my nine volts, cool. So we're kind of, this is why I like, it, you notice some similarities to yesterday, but you're gonna notice a lot of differences too. So I'm gonna record when I touched A, I'm gonna to put nine volts. Nope, I don't have to put the V because the V is already in the title. So I'm gonna put nine, I'm gonna to touch it to B. Hey Jacob, what's up? Glad to see you. It's weird not seeing you guys in real life. I don't like this at all, but how's it going? Hope you guys are having a good day. Um, where is, oh, B. I'm like, well, I need to see where B's at. Oh, B's way over here on top of the, the resistor. This is why I like to add the extra little bit of wire right here, because then, I mean, if I touch it here, then I get nine volts. If I accidentally touch it like, he, it definitely plays it. Oh, I gotta let go, I think. Hmm. Well, I guess I just want to make sure I touch it in the right spot. Okay, so, hmm. all right. Or I don't get the question mark. So it just gives me like a bigger target to aim for with this lead. There was a reason I think that was it, but I don't know, past mistakes. So then I'm gonna record nine volts, Oop, nine volts again. There's point C, there's point D. So all of those I'm gonna put like, 
you know, nine volt, nine volt, nine volt. And then I get to point, what is it? A, B, C, D, E, and I get zero volts. And then I get zero volts. And then I get zero volts. And then I get zero volts. What's up, Miguel? Welcome back. I, hey, Sam, how you doing? So, I'm gonna get a bunch of nine, nine, you know, you could, you get the drill and then zero, zero, zero. So these are all zero. I'll let you figure out which of these is gonna, what are, okay. And then, okay, just like yesterday, for the second one, I'm gonna solve by subtraction. I'm gonna calculate by subtraction the difference between things. So I'm gonna, once again, so I'm gonna say G minus B. Well, I'm gonna say, well, zero minus nine. So I'm gonna get a negative nine. So again, some of these are gonna be negative, some of these are gonna be positive, just like yesterday. All right, so watch out for those. It's gonna be G minus B is the second letter minus the first letter when you get this. All right, you're gonna notice a lot of repeats and that's fine, that means you're doing it right. All right, did I get a message? Eh. Uh, nothing has to do with this. So then we're gonna to have to do the same thing with the ammeter and measuring the current going through the resistor. This is why I added that extra little wire, okay? It makes this part a lot easier. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of the voltmeter. I'm gonna take out the ammeter. Well, this is the fancy one. I don't even have to break the circuit. What, they have updated everything. That's nice. That You guys are so spoiled. All right, but honestly though, so point A, 3.3 amps, Okay, point B, this is why you gotta be kind of careful because you want to put it at point B. You see where point B is at? Don't put it up too high. Don't put it you know, in the wrong spots. You wanna point it, point it there, somewhere on this wire, okay? If you put it here, you see how you get a different reading, all right? So watch out for that. You wanna put it on the wire right above the resistor. And then do the same thing there. You can see I'm getting different currents here, there, everywhere. Okay, so make sure you put it in the right spot, record all the currents, and uh, in, the, in, the, in the right spots. And you can record those below again. So there's a third data, data table, you can record all the currents. And once again, the whole point is to <laughs> simulate experimentally getting data to support Ohm's law. V equals I R, I equals V over R, those, those equations. And the stuff I was talking about in the other videos and in class on, wow, Monday, we had school Monday, uh, about, for example, how the currents all add up. Like, for example, here, the current, the total is 3.3, well, Part of it splits off here, 1.8. And then some of the current goes this way. You get 0.9 going through this resistor. And you get 0.6 going through that resistor. And all those currents add up together to be 3.3. Okay, so the current is the flow of electrons. And they're being pushed by this voltage, which is the same in all the spots. Okay, on the one side of the uh, of the circuit. Every branch has the same voltage drop, in this case, nine volts. So that's it, all right? So that's all I could tell you. I mean, obviously there's some questions about this. Um, just kind of answer the questions as best you can based on what you see. If you've got some questions for me, please, 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 please don't hesitate to ask, okay? So you could use the remind, you can use whatever, all right? So I'll put a link here uh, once again for video help. I will add the link uh, to this part of the live stream that I just got done talking about, or, you know, and then you can watch it then, okay? Once you're done with that, for question two, oh, okay, what is it asking? Question two, calculate the sum of the decreases in electrical potential along the path, and the sum of the electrical, okay. So, yeah, basically, the sum. I, I, I'd wanted to word these questions like I worded the one in the previous lab. And this one's a little bit, the sum, okay, 
here. What's it asking? So the sum of the decrease at resistor one. All right, let me get rid of this. So it goes from nine to zero. Okay, what's the decrease? Well, it went negative nine. What's the decrease? Here? So the sum of the resistors is, there's only one resistor. There's only one drop in, in voltage. It went from nine down to zero. And so, um, yeah, so the answer is nine. Same here, it went from nine to zero. Same here, it went from nine to zero. So the the question is sort of worded funny, but the answer is basically, um, oh, and then the final one is at the battery. So at the battery, you get sort of the opposite. You go from zero to nine, and or, um, and it, so it kind of, uh, the, the other ones are negative. This one's positive because, why is that? Well, because when you subtracted it, you got a negative number to show that it's dropping. Okay, you subtract it, you get a negative number. You subtract it, you get a negative number. And then all these are gonna be zero. And then the last one is the other direction from, from A to H. When you subtract those, you should get a positive number. It'll be nine minus zero. And so number two is saying basically, this is gonna drop nine, negative nine. This is gonna drop nine. This is gonna drop nine. This is gonna drop, oh, sorry, that's the battery. So that's gonna increase nine. You're gonna get a positive number there. So the relationship is basically explain what's the relationship between the the voltage at the battery and the voltage at each branch. All right. So the relationship is to summarize that the battery raises up the voltage nine and every branch decreases at nine. Hey, Aiden, what's up? You're late this time. You were early yesterday. <laughs> um, but that's the relationship, Haiti. Okay. Great question. I'm glad you asked that. Anybody else? Any other questions? Ahem. I almost choked on my water while live streaming. That would not be good. All right. Let me know. I'm going to go back to this. Uh, a little preview of the next couple assignments. Okay. So once you're done with the, the simulations, you're going to go back to solving uh, circuits. And I'll talk more about this tomorrow in our live stream review. But remember how, ah, it's okay, Aiden. Honestly, this is completely optional. I, I, I was just, you know me. Um, so on Monday and in this first assignment, the first assignment, not the zero-width assignment, but in the first assignment, we learned about, um, actually it was the second assignment, uh, how to solve for current in every resistor. Uh, well, tomorrow, or for assignment five, I should say, you're going to talk about solving for the finding the different voltages at each resistor. And so you could kind of start to get an idea why we did this lab, because in a parallel circuit, the voltages are all going to be the same for each branch of the circuit. And the one from yesterday, we learned that the voltage is going to change at each resistor, okay? Because there's no branches. It's just in a series, it's all one thing. Anyway, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, and I don't, you know, I'll, I'll let you go back and look at the video and watch the video of me explaining it. Um, and then on the for assignment number six is the final assignment is going to be solving for resistance. So like, for example, if you didn't know that this was five, 10 and 15 re ohms resistance, or even if you did know it, what's the total resistance of this circuit? Like how much total resistance is this battery having to push against? And the answer is gonna be less than five. Um, but I mean, so we got a, a five ohm resistor, a 10 ohm resistor and a 15 ohm resistor. Uh, the total resistance is going to be 2.7 ohms of resistance. How did I figure that out? How did I calculate that? It's pretty straightforward. You'll you'll get the hang of it. Um, but you know, how did I get that? That's going to be assignment six. Okay, how to get total resistance. So, anything else? Anything else? You guys doing good? Anything? Uh, I holding up. It's day two. Seems like week two sometimes. This to me.
But am I doing anything? There's nothing to. I will say this again. Don't go out. Don't don't go go to public places. I mean, or go to uh, I'll put it this way. We went to a forest preserve this morning. There was, you know, people, but they're like a mile away. Um, I think that's probably okay. We went for a walk in the neighborhood yesterday. That was probably okay. Um, but, you know, we're not going to go to any restaurants or movies, you know, partly because they're closed, but it's not a good idea. So stay in. Don't try, don't, don't have people over. Don't go to other people's houses. You know, like I said at the beginning, if we could just isolate ourselves, the, the more we isolate ourselves, the sooner this whole thing will be over and the fewer deaths we'll have. And the sooner everybody could go back to work and school and everything. So beyond that, anyway, hopefully you guys, are, I mean, you guys doing good? It's weird not being at school. If you're like me, part of me, part of me likes it. Like, hey, I don't have to get out of bed so early. I don't have to, you know, this, that, and the other. And but, big part of me definitely misses it. I don't know. Well, like I said, if you guys need anything, you just want to chat, whatever. Just hit me up on the remind, or you could we could talk on this or whatever. And uh, so let me know how you're doing. Okay, let me know if you need anything. I'll see what I could do. So. You guys have a great afternoon. I'm going to call it then. I'm going to end it right now. Um, stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay away from other people. Have a good afternoon, guys. Bye.